All right, hi everyone. I thought I would show you this kind of weird, ambitious project I was working on. So uh, in Odin, you can use Raylib, which is a kind of game development uh, software, I guess. There's actually a C library, but you can use it in Odin. It's very easy to use. But what I decided to do was basically create a text editor slash IDE in Odin you know, using Raylib. I'll show you how that looks. So I basically did everything from scratch. So I'm not using any... Apart from Raylib, I'm not using anything else. But I show how this works. So I go Odin run dot, and it will open up this window. I have lots of console information to the top right. I don't know why it's saying E at the end. It just seems to randomly happen. I don't know why. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so I can just type stuff. So lots of stuff doesn't actually work. So if I press, if I hold down, for example, it only does it once. It doesn't hold it. <laughs> I'm gonna go like manually down and up like this. And I tab don't doesn't work either. Tab does nothing. So I've got a space. Say I feel like I'm writing in C or something. I could do this in, and the text the highlighting actually works. And when I do enter, it goes all the way to the start of the new line. So I gotta go space all the way to here, because uh, it's very hard when you actually write everything yourself to do all this stuff. Let me go on. All right, so we got this. Um, I'll show you the, what the code looks like for this. Uh, one problem I have is like the amount of allocations are kind of ridiculous. Uh, but this taught me a lot about um, the importance of freeing memory and not having memory leaks. Because if you see here, bytes allocated, it's not going up constantly. So the problem with an application like this is it has to print to the screen like 60 frames a second, right? So you're printing to the screen 60 frames a second. And if you allocate memory every frame and you don't free the memory, you'll have a memory leak and it'll eventually just crash your computer or the program will crash eventually. So you've got to make sure that doesn't happen. We'll just close this. I'll show you some of the code. It's been a while since I actually looked at this code, so I might uh, not remember a lot of stuff. So first we have main, which just inits everything. One problem is like the Odin language server just isn't working at all, so I can't click on anything, which is annoying, but we can still find stuff. Uh, then, so then, yeah, we set the target FPS and we go to the game loop. And the game loop simply just waits until there's a escape or the close button. And we have two main functions, which is update and draw game. So we, I'm just, yeah, I'm tracking when it started and time since last frame, things like this. Uh, but if I go to the game loop date, update game, we write the text, we select line index, and we add a debug info. Um, I don't normally like using inferred types, so I seem to be using them a lot here. Not printable is a, is a bool. So let's write bool here. It's going to annoy me otherwise. So, I mean, I can show you how if I basically turn stuff off, what it breaks. To just show that this is all, like, say if I comment this out and then run it, no text will be written now. It doesn't write text. So it's it's all like, there's no library here. It's all me, whatever code I write happens. So uncomment this out, back to text. So write text, other keys. Um, let's see what, what other keys are. Other keys. And basically, we're just detecting what was pressed. Basically, is what we're doing, and then we're adding. Um, so yeah, if it's uh, backspace, we shift to the left. Uh, you've got to like it's it's quite complicated doing on this because most of the stuff does you know most libraries do this for you. If you have a text box in like a website and JavaScript, it's all written for you. Whereas I'm doing everything myself. So if I have, for example, I have an array of characters, right? And I delete one. We have to shift everything backwards you have to that to there that to there that to there that to there that for the whole line which yeah it's difficult <laughs> it's difficult to actually do this stuff um it simply just finds the mouse position and selects a line and the way how this works um i'll just run this again it's basically it's uh it's it's we i've got like a size of a square and i've used that to to um so the size of the square is based on this. So if you see, for example, well, the way the, the mouse is moving, that's the size of the square. So they're pretty small. I don't remember the actual size. It's something in pixels. So if I look at the pixels, it's something like 14 by 14, 14 by something is what they are. And I just worked it out that that's the same as the, as the character size. One thing I can't do, which will be a nightmare to do, is zooming in and out. Because zooming in and out, you'd have to change the size of everything. It's a big pain in the ass to do that. I'm not sure how I would actually do that. But let's go to, so we have select line, add debug info, that's update game. Let's go to draw game. 
where even are we? Draw game. Frame count plus one. Uh, Raylib begin drawing, which starts the drawing in Raylib. Uh, and drawing clear background. So we create a clear background. And we just create a gray background, which is simply just. Uh, I'm not sure if the gray background is this or. Draw rectangle, black background, screen width. I'm trying to remember what all this does. <laughs> it's been so long since I've actually looked at this code. Screen width height. Okay, I understand. I'm not sure what the 0 and 30 mean, but it's basically just we're drawing a rectangle that's black with a black background. And I have loaded colors. If I find colors, yeah, black background. It's just that color. Um, so back to draw. So we draw debug, which basically just draws this debug console, I'm pretty sure. So C string is C string debug log zeros. What's debug log? Not sure. Here's debug log here, uh, which is 300. So basically, this is just a massive array, and we add to the array every time, and then we convert it to a C string, and then we print it. Uh, so we, yeah, output is C string, is this converted to a C string. Uh, and a C string is basically just, um, it's an, a, uh, was it a null terminated uh, char, char array? Uh, okay, spawn position. Okay, yeah, we're just yeah we're creating the spawn position and then we're setting it to the screen width minus five hundred. So basically, this is screen width minus five hundred, and then position y is thirty because we don't want it in the gray area. Now we draw the text. We draw that text using that, and that's it. Uh, then cache tokens. So I cache the token, so I don't want to. I don't want it to. Um, it's like a dynamic string array by the line count. So it's a multi-dimensional array that's dynamic. Um, and I want it to be global. Why do I want it to be global? Because I don't want it to. Because if I keep, if I create it in a local function, it will create it and then delete it, create it, delete it, create it, delete it. You just want it to be global. So you create it, then you delete it only when you need to, and you're not wasting time. Because if I, because when it's doing nothing, right? When it's doing nothing, there's no allocation, there's no free. So because I made it global, I had it. Um, not global before and it would just like you allocate free allocate free 60 times per second it's a waste of uh, time and energy okay with highest indexes which is basically like um so i'll show you this so when i uh go onto this line and this line and this line and this line and this line so when i go up and down it will go to the highest index i'm, I'm tracking the highest index that was possible so i when i go up and down it goes to the end of the line that's all highest indexes are basically if it's less than zero we continue and go to the next line because who cares or if it's less than or equal to zero we get the output from the text array i don't remember where text array is and i can't find it because it's fun there's text array here yeah text array is here that's the line count with line length i don't know where line length is it's probably under constant somewhere Line constants, here we go. Line length is 100. So it's, uh, and the line count is 30. So it's 30 by 100. So if text change, basically we don't want to do anything unless the text was changed, because what's the point? Um, I don't remember when I actually changed that. <laughs> I guess I change it when I add a key press. Uh, for token and token, we delete. I don't remember most of this. Um, it is like a lot of work to do this. For example, stuff you want to implement, copy and pasting. Copy and pasting is a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. Because it's like on different lines, you got to add to. It. It's like on this line, we copy and paste that to, the, and you have to like aim, and you have to like move everything down as well. So say if you copy and paste something at the start, you have to copy everything, move that down, place that in, and each line is it's just like you have no idea how much diff, how difficult it is to actually write, make one of these yourself. You think thank you just think thank God text files exist, because the amount of work that goes into them. <laughs> It's completely insane. Most of it's like libraries and written for you. So if you try and do everything yourself, it really teaches you how stuff works. And you take you really take it for granted how much work goes into this stuff. Because say if I open up a notepad, right? So say if I open up a notepad, it does all this for you, right? It does it for you. So I can copy and paste this. I can cut and paste. And that will delete everything. Paste, 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 paste. So that will basically, uh, if I go to the in-between as well, 
it has to move everything down. It has to move that down and then put that in. To do this yourself is a big pain. It's a lot of work, honestly. Kind of ambitious why I'm trying to do this. But the idea was basically I wanted to create, create a, an IDE that's very, very performant. Uh, that doesn't have any uh, unnecessary stuff. But doing that, you know, is quite a lot of work. <laughs> Um, but it's mostly just experiment to see how difficult it was and to see if you can actually do it in Raylib, which you can, it's just a lot of work again. I'll see if I can find where I, I think tokenizing, uh, draw color, get color. Okay, here we go, we've got keywords. I don't, I don't know if I can find keywords, probably not, because I don't know where anything is. It's going to tell me, no it's not, that's fun. Okay, I'm just going to go through everything. Lang oh yeah, language constants found it. So we've got keywords. It's basically just the C keywords that I'm using just to test this. Not literally every keyword possible. Uh, let me just test stuff. So say if I um, one thing that doesn't click doesn't work. I need to make click work. But and also it doesn't go to the next line. So I've got to manually <laughs> manually do this. Right, so say for example we do uh, let's go const char pointer. Again, the, I need to fix that space so going backwards equals, say, say, message. It keeps deleting too much. Message equals this. Hello world, or whatever. See, that works. Okay. I don't remember how exactly this works. So if input equals equals main, then we make it yellow. If it's printf, we make it yellow. Do I have, yeah, special char? If special char. Not sure what that means. It's been so long since I've actually wrote this. So text input equals, ah, okay, is text. So we got, if it's a special char or if it contains that, it's considered that, it's considered um, a... Anyway, yeah, this is just a really random project I started. Uh, it gives me practice using Odin. It gives me practice in manual memory management because it's very difficult to actually manage memory. And in this, if you don't manage memory well, and you have memory leaks, it will crash. It will either crash your computer or it will crash the program and it will stop running. Because if you're allocating memory 60 times a second, because it's 60 frames a second, because um, if I keep typing, it will keep allocating, it keep allocating. It doesn't actually allocate, it seems. I guess because it's already, okay, it did allocate then. It did allocate then. But they, they, what I kind of should probably fix is the, the allocation count because it does allocate a lot. Because every time I'm typing stuff in, it frees it, which I'm not sure if I should find a better way of doing that. I'm not sure if there is a way of doing that. Because, um, I mean, when you print to the screen, you kind of need to free. Because if I show you here, um, it's draw text. Um, see if I can find the part where I actually write stuff. Yeah, here, so single char. So basically, yeah, we're writing a single char as a C string. Uh, and then we have to clear it. I'm not sure where we actually clear it. Uh, it's been too, too long since I've actually done this. That I don't remember how stuff works. Anyway, yeah, you get the uh, you get the, the point. Um, I might continue this at some point, but it's it's a lot of work because you've got to implement literally everything. There's copy and pasting. There's uh, holding, like go up and down holding. There's tabs. Um, there's uh, cut and paste. I mean, cut and paste is another problem. Uh, deleting should also go to the next line, which it doesn't. It should go to the next line manually. It doesn't. Um, so yeah, this is very slow. Also, control, control, control does nothing. Control delete, delete does nothing. I mean, just like stuff like this. It's a lot of work though. Uh, and generally also clicking and highlighting, that doesn't work. Not much works. Right click doesn't work. <laughs> what does work? Um, the highlighting works. I can't clearly use the mouse or the the keyboard. It's very slow to delete stuff. The problem is it does actually kind of. Um, anyway, that's enough of this. That was my uh, weird text editor project that I didn't finish because uh, it's a lot of work. But I definitely learned a lot about manually managing memory. Uh, Odin helped me with that a lot. Anyway. See you guys next time.